What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new video, and it's an exciting one, man. We got an exciting video for you today, man. One of my favorite things about collecting WWE action figures, and I mean action figures really in general, but when it comes to the WWE action figures, man, a lot of you guys always tell me that your favorite video series is the Surgery Series, or WWE Action Figure Surgery. Well, through the history of WWE Action Figure Surgery, we have made some great customs, man. We've made some great customs and fix-ups, and something that I love about WWE, WWE action figures, what I was saying in the beginning is that you can take a WWE action figure and you can switch some parts around and really make like a very, very sweet fix-up custom using different parts of figures, using your vision, being creative, and that is pretty much my favorite thing about collecting WWE figures, man. It's the community, it's how creative everybody is, and putting our minds together, we have created some really awesome custom figures and fix-ups here on the channel, especially on WWE action figure surgery. So today, man, we're going to be diving into some of the hidden gems of my collection and fix-ups we've made using other figures, combining them with other figures and making a mashup. Now, if I were to make an entire video about all of them in my collection, we'd probably be sitting here for over two hours. So today, man, we're going to dive into a handful of them. I think we have over 10 to display here today and showcase, so let's shut the hell up and dive into it, man. Breaking down all of it and trying to give you guys all of the different parts and everything about the figures, man. So that being said, man, let's dive into my hidden gem WWE custom figures in my collection. I guess they're not even that, like, some of them are custom, some of them are hybrid, some of them or fix-ups, but you guys can let me know what you think. So starting off first, man, we do have the ringside exclusive DX Shawn Michaels Elite figure here, man, but you guys will notice that the slight change we have is the head sculpt. So what really makes this figure pop, man, is going to be the WrestleMania 30 Elite Shawn Michaels head sculpt that we put on here. Not only did we put that figure's head sculpt, first of all, that's like one of my favorite Shawn Michaels head sculpt, maybe one of the best Shawn Michaels head sculpts of all time. We put it on the ringside exclusive DX Shawn, and this is just great, man. And I don't mind the head sculpt that came on the figure, but this fix up right here on here just looks phenomenal. Then you throw in the green ponytail ties that we just touched up real quick. They were red. I put some green over it. I mean, it just really, really captures it and makes it look uh, amazing. So I really en enjoyed this Shawn Michaels figure right there. I know a lot of people love that figure. Head sculpt's phenomenal. That, that's a great Shawn Michaels figure we got over there. Next up, I didn't plan on including this figure. It wasn't in my mind initially, but it was laying right beside the filming station, so I figured we'd throw it in here. And somebody asked me about it the other day. We have the custom Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt figure. Now, obviously, rest in peace to Bray Wyatt. Phenomenal talent that will greatly be missed. It still doesn't even feel real that he is no longer with us, but at least he can live on here in action figure form and be immortalized, man. This is an Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt. Now, we kind of threw around some different parts here, but this is the Elite 54 head sculpt, the Ultimate Edition Fiend arms and jacket and torso, and it is the crotch, but I switched the legs out for the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt and then painted the crotch piece, and now you have this like hybrid jacket crazy looking Bray Wyatt ultimate that I think looks amazing. I really enjoy this figure. I remember, I can't remember if we did this on surgery or what it was man, but I just love this Bray Wyatt figure. You can also interchange the arms for the double jointed fiend arms and you can have him where he doesn't have his jacket on and he's got you know his, his sleeveless shirt and he's got all his tattoos popping off. Could easily do that but this figure right here is great. I love this Bray Wyatt figure. One of the, my favorite Brays in the collection. Phenomenal Bray Wyatt ultimate right there. Next up we have a Chris Jericho figure. It is going to be this Entrance Greats hybrid figure. Now, this is the Attitude Era figure with combined with the Entrance Greats. So, it's got the Entrance Greats head sculpt. It's got the Entrance Greats shirt and everything. This is the debut of Chris Jericho in WWE, and this is a fantastic figure. Now, obviously, it uh, it, it does have, like, the things underneath here. It's not, it, it's all cloth goods, but I still think you can fix a figure up with cloth goods, and I love this one because it's an elite and it can actually pose around. And one day, when he comes back to WWE, goes into the Hall of Fame and whatnot, I hope we get some more Chris Jericho figures. One of my favorites of all time. Had to put that one in the video. Next up, we have a more recent one. It is going to be the Elite SummerSlam Seth Rollins in the pink gear, the Monday Night Messiah gear. The only thing we did with this figure is we head swapped it and we put some pink and black Bret Hart double jointed arms on there. And obviously, this is the old formula, but it's still a really nice fix up. I love how poseable he is and it just looks really, really sweet. Double jointed arms, really poseable. I know it's the smaller formula, but uh, to have a pink gear Rollins that's fully poseable with no paint whatsoever is sweet. And any fix-up I can make without any paint really uh, gets some bonus points from me, but sometimes you add a little bit of paint, it really like can make it go a long way, like these two, but when you have a figure like this that has no paint whatsoever, I think that's where the money's made in the fix-up department. Now, speaking of which, this one technically doesn't have paint, but I guess it kind of does. We'll get into it. It is the ringside exclusive Finn Balor fix-up. This is the Elite 74 smiley head sculpt on the ringside exclusive body with a custom leather jacket. Now, the only paint this has is the white outsoles on the boots. The ring 
ringside exclusive exclusive Finn Balor, like his plain non-demon figure, was such a great ringside exclusive. I remember when it first released and getting that Elite 74 head sculpt and putting it on there, I love this figure, man. Such a great figure. I think the ringside exclusive Finn Balor is a really underrated figure. You got that Balor Club logo in there. It's that, like plain black, but it is his first non-demon Elite. Add the ripped up torso. Very poseable. One of my favorite, I think, Mattels of all time is the ringside exclusive Finn Balor. Then you fix it up with the jacket and everything like that and you got a really nice moment in time of Finn Balor when he first showed up on the main roster. Love that Finn Balor right there. We'll never get sick of that figure. Next up, we have another Shawn Michaels. It is going to be a really unique one. We have the Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels with the hat, the DX armbands, the shirt, and a different head sculpt. So this is actually a 2K battle pack Shawn Michaels head sculpt and arms. Or maybe it's the lower arms because his arms were really skinny and they didn't have the tattoo on there in the accurate detail. So I took the lower arms from that battle pack that have the DX armbands, put them onto the Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels who only had white wrist tape. This is the Shawn Michaels right here. I, dude, I loved that figure when it first released. Then I had this custom DX shirt here, and then we did put the hat on there. I think that also came in the battle pack, if I'm not mistaken, but it was like a 2K exclusive or something like that, like 2K15 DX battle pack. And then I also put the head sculpt on there for that older Shawn Michaels, and this is such a cool figure. I remember when I made this. This was before the surgery days. I just had, this is like one of those figures I hybrid put together before the camera was even rolling, so that one makes it really hit home and, you you know, it kind of holds a special place in my soul. That Shawn Michaels right there is fantastic. Next up is the Elite 66 Kurt Angle. Now, this one's really cool because it has a lot of moving parts in it. You got the custom jacket in the blue that really stands out. You have the Elite 66 Angle. He's got the double medals. We had this Jax head sculpt in here, and then I switched out the lower legs for the entrance grates Kurt Angle, and then put some Alberto Del Rio boots on it. So this is a complete hybrid figure. So it was kind of supposed to be a combination of the older look of Kurt Angle like, you know, mid-2000s or the, you know, the Ruthless Aggression Kurt Angle mixed together with a modern day. And I think it turned out phenomenal. I absolutely love this figure. There's no paint on it. It's just part swaps and it really creates this unique look hybrid of a Team Angle Kurt Angle mixed with the different eras. And then you have the big A on the shirt. I mean, dude, this is a, this is one of uh, the most underrated figures in the collection. It is so damn beautiful. All the colorations and the USA and the gear and all that. This looks so good. And then you have the jacket on there. I mean, look, you have the angle A on the middle there. And then you have the team angle on the back. Dude, what a freaking beast of a figure. I really, really love this figure. Great stuff going on there. Another one of my favorite wrestlers of all time is Kurt Angle. Moving on, we have a few more here, man. We have the Elite Fix-Up Batista. Now, this one was really cool because this was made before he returned. So this is before the Elite 72, all that. I took the, I think, Elite 30 Batista torso, put it on the Elite 2 or Elite 6 Batista crotch piece. And then, uh, so this down is from the Elite 30 Batista, but I put the old school boots on there. And then you guys can see he has the, the leg tat. So he's got the leg tattoo in there, the older crotch, and then he's got like the more modern. So the original look for this guy was supposed to be, I wanted it to be the older look. I didn't want to have like the blue Tista look for him. I wanted to have a Batista that was modern but in his old gear and then I took a Elite 30 head sculpt or maybe it wasn't Elite 30 I took some Batista head sculpt and then repainted it to give him the five o'clock shadow and the shaved head look so what a phenomenal figure this is like one of my most successful torso swaps of all time it, it turned out pretty good I'm pretty proud of that figure right there so I always enjoy that one he was good initially being the pick fed he, you know obviously that never turned out but or at least to this day it hasn't turned out but we'll see next up is another Shawn Michaels man we have the John Nada Roddy Piper they live action figure, but then we did put the Shawn Michaels like head sculpt on there, and then he's got the cross necklace on there, so it's kind of supposed to be his like Philippians 413 tank top style figure there with the jeans and the belt and everything like that, the brown shoes, the light jeans. Very cool figure, you know, I wish it was double jointed, and he does need the tattoo, but that's something that we haven't done just yet, and also the skin tones aren't completely accurate. This is like the Finn Balor, Roddy Piper skin tone, and then that's the Shawn Michaels skin tone, so they're not completely there, but it, it works good enough. I think in the right lighting and everything like that, this could easily pass for uh, that version of Shawn Michaels and I, I like it a lot. I think it gets the job done. You know, you can pose them around, have that, use it for a street fight. Nobody's going to fight you on it. I think it looks damn good. Next up, we have the Elite 84 Chase Jeff Hardy fix-up. This one's really sweet because it is the Elite 84 Jeff Hardy just with the two-pack SmackDown Elite two-pack Triple H and Jeff Hardy mesh shirt on there. So this makes a really modern Jeff Hardy, especially when you throw in like all the tattoo 
details and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I guess it would have worked better if you used the Elite 84 and then switched the arms with these and then the head sculpt so it'd have all the tattoos on there, but this still works as a really cool updated Jeff Hardy. So you have the red and white face paint, the white sleeves, the white belt, the black, and then it ties in with the shirt with the red and then the red face paint. So this is a one that I remember seeing a lot of people do. I don't know if I was the first one to come up with this or not, but I did. I have seen some people do, do it since, but it's still a really sweet one. I, I love that one. That one's, that one's pretty good right there. Really creates a different look for your figure. And last but not least, we have one of the OG best figures on the channel. Now, this is still my favorite figure of this person to date. It is the Elite 55 Neville King of the Cruiserweights, but it does have the BEW, but it does have the BEW pissed off head sculpt on it. This Neville figure or Pac figure is so damn good. I remember when I commissioned this head sculpt from BEW, I said, man, make him look pissed off and angry. They don't ever make him pissed off and angry. Then they get, he gave him this thick beard and everything like that. And originally this figure was not on the Elite 55 Neville body, which is just a regular Elite, but uh, he is the king of the cruiserweight, so I just have the crown on there for no reason. And one day on surgery, his, his effing beard fell off. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but his effing beard fell off while we were trying to put this figure's head sculpt on this body. And so we had to reattach his beard with super glue. And he's been uh, he's been cooking ever since. Like, you can't even tell that his beard fell off, man. It was a crazy day. His whole freaking face fell off, and everybody freaked out. It was a great day. But at the end of the day, he turned out amazing. And this is one of the sleepers in the collection. People forget about this now. This is the best Neville slash Pac figure ever made. And uh, nobody's head sculpt from any major company has come close to this one that BEW made. So I love this Neville slash Pac, and it'll always hold a really special place in the channel's history, especially when his beard fell off. I mean, that was an insane day. But anyways, man, that is going to pretty much wrap up all of our hidden gem action figures or customs today, man. I mean, there are so many in the collection. We could easily make this a, a two-part, three-part series, maybe. Definitely something we could do. Definitely something we could do, because these are not full-fledged customs that are, you know, require a lot of paint. Like, some of them have some paint. Some of them have some things going on with them, but it's very minimal. It's not like you know a full top to bottom crazy paint job and then like the part swaps and things of that nature are awesome as well but that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up man hope you guys did enjoy i'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of these figures down in the comment section but i'm getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy before we get out of here a huge shout out to our patron members man and we actually had a new sign up to our patreon yesterday sebastian cervantes huge shout out to you brother thank you so much for joining the patreon if you guys are interested in joining that click the link in the description down below but thank you so much man for signing up i really really appreciate it but i am getting the hell out of here hope you guys did enjoy follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will catch you guys later have a blessed one and i'll see you next time <laughs>